Have you seen a wrecking ball bring a building down with its force? In a wrecking ball, kinetic energy is used to do work on the wall which crumbles on impact. Let us see if kinetic energy can actually be used to do work on a stationary object. Take a metal ball suspended to a stand and place any bottle next to it. Take the ball slightly to one side and leave it. It hits the bottle but the bottle does not fall. Now take the ball a bit farther and leave it. The bottle does not fall. Now take the ball as far as you can and leave it. It topples the bottle. As we increase the displacement of the ball from the mean position, the speed at which it hit the bottle increased. As the speed increased, the kinetic energy contained in the ball at the moment of impact also increased and hence it could do more work on the bottle. In a wrecking ball, a really heavy ball is used that can accelerate more and can pack very high kinetic energy. The wall being stationary and fixed cannot move and hence it breaks apart as it gains a huge amount of energy in a very short time which it cannot transfer or convert to anything else.